Greetings, fellow humans. It is I, the disembodied voice of the Metal Guitar Guy, coming to you via the interwebsticles. In today's video, we are checking out the new signature amp sim of Mike Stringer, the guitarist of Spearbox. One of the best new metal bands there is, in my opinion. Most amp sims and plugins these days do offer a limited free trial for so many days, but it's still worth saying in case anyone doesn't know. Mixwave does a 7 day free trial for this one, so you can download it and try it for yourself for free. For the demo mix, I am using my modded Jackson 7 string tuned all the way down to drop F sharp. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more guitar gear reviews and metal content that is being brewed up.
So I did end up trying every setting under the mic stringer section on this amp sim. There is only one preset for metal rhythm guitar tone for mic stringer and it's called Chunk. Sounds really good though. The general rhythm guitar tone that loads up when you first turn on the plugin sounds pretty good too, but the chunk is a little brighter and tighter and uh, definitely what you want in a modern metal sound. There are a bunch of clean and atmospheric tones and a few lead tones too. The presets, Infinite Reverse and Ring Me to Your Leader are definitely unique and different. Infinite Reverse will literally go on for minutes and minutes with the reverb and delay even after you stop playing. And Ring Me to Your Leader makes your guitar sound like an alien robot. Um, it's definitely different. I really like using the Rule of Nines and Top Gun presets for leads. For me, I really love delay and reverb. So this is right up my alley. In the ambient atmospheric sounds, this plugin really shines in my opinion. There are a lot of amp sims out there these days, but not all of them have good metal rhythm guitar tones and a lot of ambient atmospheric tones to play around with. Also just another note, it seems like this plugin definitely uses up more processing power on your computer than some other plugins out there. If you have a project opened up with several tracks all using this plugin, you may start to notice this. Most modern computers should be able to handle it, but it's still worth noting. I like the plugin. There are a lot of other presets and tones I haven't tried out yet. I'll probably end up buying it after the trial is over, mostly because of the ambient atmospheric tones and presets. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of my mix down below. I have more videos and projects coming down the internet pipeline. Also, a link for the amp sim is in the description below. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.